Well, hey everyone, and welcome back. Today, I want to share with you 10 minimalist cleaning hacks. And I like to keep things ultra simple and minimal when it comes to cleaning my home, because to be completely honest, for the most part, I don't really enjoy it. But I love the feeling of a fresh and clean home. Which is why I'm all about finding ways to simplify the cleaning process. So today, I want to share with you some of my favorite minimalist cleaning hacks that can really help make keeping your home clean more enjoyable, quick, and easy. And I'm excited to get right into this, so if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button below, and let's get started with the first hack, and that's just to make the most of your time. Find the gaps in your day that you'd otherwise spend waiting, and use that gap as an opportunity to clean or to tidy the surrounding area. Often, there are small periods of time throughout our days where we spend time waiting for something to happen. Whether that's the tea kettle to go off, letting us know that our water is boiled and we can finish making our tea, the shower to warm up before we step into it, especially in the middle of the winter, and just other small gaps of time like that. Try to redeem that time by not wasting it on your phone or sitting around aimlessly, but instead using that as an opportunity to clean and tidy the surrounding area. So maybe that looks like putting the clean dishes away from the previous night while your tea kettle boils or coffee brews. Or even it could be as simple as just tidying up your bathroom for those 30 seconds while you wait for your shower to heat up. This can look like a lot of things, but just try to identify what are some small gaps throughout your day that you might otherwise spend waiting that you can instead fill that time in a more purposeful way by cleaning or tidying. And I love this one because it doesn't require a whole lot of effort on our parts. After all, it really is just a couple minutes worth of work at most at a time. But it really is honestly amazing by how much we can get done in those short bursts. And then another great cleaning hack is just to work from the top down. Whatever you're trying to clean, start by working at the highest level first and then work your way progressively down. That way, as dust or debris just naturally fall down, you're able to pick it all up at the end and not make more work for yourself. And this is just one of those small things that we can do to make sure that we're not creating more work for ourselves than we need to. But the one exceptional offer to this one is when it comes to the toilet bowl. And let's just be honest, that is such a gross area that it's one that pretty much none of us actually wants to deal with. But when it comes to cleaning your toilet, I'd recommend just altering this slightly and work towards the toilet bowl. Whenever I clean my home, I make cleaning out the toilet bowl pretty much the last thing I do. That way I can just use one rag throughout the entire process and then finally finish it off by cleaning out what is realistically the nastiest part of our homes in doing the actual toilet bowl. So with the toilet, you can do the stand, kind of the back area, and then finish with the seat because realistically, you don't wanna use that rag for anything once you've done the toilet bowl. Okay, and then our third hack is such a time saver, and that's just to switch your air filters out regularly. This is something that can save you so much time dusting. As a matter of fact, if you switch your air filters out regularly, you'll hardly find dust accumulating in your home at all, or at least the rate of it will be significantly reduced. And the great thing about this one is not only does it allow you to save time dusting, which alone is fantastic, but also it really helps to improve the air quality in your home. So if you live with a person who struggles with allergies like I do in Christopher, switching out your air filters regularly is just one of those small things that you can do to make breathing easier a lot easier on them. So this is one of those hacks that kind of has double benefits to it, but it's one that's often forgotten about. So if it's been a little too long since you last changed out your air filter, I'd encourage you just to take a few minutes to do that and then just get regularly in the habit of switching it out every few months. And often we just use seeing dust as a reminder. If we start noticing dust around our home, that's our cue, that's our signal, it's time to change out the air filter. But then moving on, hack number four is to switch to laundry strips. No question, this is one of my favorite simple swaps that I've made. Not only are liquid laundry detergents pretty messy, but they can take up a lot of space too. Which is why about a year and a half ago, I made the switch from liquid detergents to laundry strips and I haven't looked back since. They're equally as effective and completely mess-free. I am just a huge fan of them, 
which is why I'm so excited to be partnering up with True Earth on today's video. And if you've been following my channel for a while now, you probably already know I am a big fan of True Earth's laundry strips. I love that you don't need to deal with any messy liquids and that they're really compact and don't take up nearly as much space as one of those massive bottles. Plus, the packaging that they come in is actually made out of cardboard. So it's a lot more sustainable and easy to recycle. But what really matters to me and why I keep coming back to them again and again and again is the fact that they actually work. They do a great job of cleaning even really dirty clothes and leave them coming out fresh and clean. And they're so easy to use too. All you need to do is get at one of the sheets and tear it at the perforation. And that half strip is perfect for a normal sized load. Then just tear that strip into a few smaller pieces and place those wherever you would typically put your liquid detergent. Then just put on your load of laundry like normal. It's as easy as that. So I mean it when I say that True Earth really has changed the game for me, making my laundry routine mess-free and more sustainable. So if you're wanting to simplify your own laundry routine, I definitely recommend checking True Earth out. And as a special offer for my viewers, True Earth is offering 10% off using the code Ashlyn. And I'll have all of the information about that linked up for you in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. This is one of those simple and easy swaps that I found makes a huge difference. Now though, let's continue on with number five, which is to clean as needed. Sticking to schedules doesn't always work when it comes to cleaning. It might be nice if our homes got messy or dirty like clockwork at the same time every week or month, but that's just not how it works. At various points, our homes might get more or less messy just depending on use. So my advice here is just don't create busy work for yourself. If your home is messy, tidy it. If it's dirty, clean it. But personally, I just don't care to waste time cleaning something that isn't all that dirty. And obviously there are limits with this. You don't want to wait until something is absolutely disgusting before cleaning it. But if you can't see any major signs of dirt or debris, maybe you can just skip it for the week and return to it next week and see if it needs tidying or cleaning then. I just feel like there are so many more productive and useful things that we can do with our time than trying to scrub out something that doesn't really need it. And then number six is a great one, and that's just to repurpose old items as handy cleaners. I feel like this one fits in so well with minimalism and especially with more responsible decluttering. As you come across old items that are worn out and that you no longer need, instead of just going to throw them out, see if you might be able to repurpose it for cleaning. So I love doing this with things like old toothbrushes, which can be really helpful at kind of getting into hard to reach corners. And then also things like worn out napkins or washcloths can make for great cleaning rags. And then one of the more useful ones that I love is to use old socks as dusting rags. Not only do they work great for general dusting, but also I find them to be the perfect tool for getting in between window blinds and being able to dust those. So this is one that you can really get creative with, but the next time you go through and declutter your home, just consider if any of the items might be useful for cleaning. I'm all about giving our old worn out items new life in a different form and this can be a great way to do just that. And then number seven is to use what you have on hand. Lots of everyday household essentials and kitchen staples can make for great cleaners. So the next time you are in a pinch or just trying to find a creative way to be able to clean something that you're struggling with, instead of going out and buying an ultra specific niche cleaning product, try using what you have on hand. Things like baking soda, vinegar, and lemons can be used in so many ways, often to tackle some of those more difficult and challenging areas. And some of my favorites and the ones that I love to use are to season a cutting board with olive oil, to use a lemon to clean the hard water stains on faucets, and to use a combination of baking soda and water to clean glass stove tops. And those are just a couple ideas. There are so many more like them out there. But the next time you're struggling to clean a particular area of your home, just see if there might be any solutions that you can find using ingredients that you already have on hand. Often you'll find a lot of great ideas and suggestions, just a quick Google search away. All right, and then number eight is a quick one, and that's just to batch your work. Try to group like cleaning tasks together so that you can save time by doing it all at once. So if you come across a room that has a dirty floor, instead of just tackling that one room, why not do it all at once? Or if you have multiple loads of laundry that you need to do, try doing it all in one day. There can be a decent amount of time and energy that goes into setting up and putting away all of the things that we need for cleaning. And so one small way that we can just make the most of our time is to do all of it at once. This is one big reason why often, instead of just doing small bursts of cleaning throughout the week, I like to just dedicate a few hours to doing a 
big cleaning day where I can pop on an audiobook, listen to that, and just kind of get into the zone with cleaning. I find that it goes a whole lot faster if I'm just fully dedicated and focused on doing that rather than doing little spurts of it throughout the week. Now obviously, if there's something that really needs being done sooner rather than later, I'll spend the time to do it, but in general, I do like to try to batch my cleaning together. But then something else that I really like to do is to use multi-purpose cleaning products. By using cleaning supplies and sprays that can do multiple things, not only does it allow us to save money because we don't need as many supplies in general, but also it can help us to save space because we just don't need as much. And so when it comes to cleaning, my motto is to have a few things that can go a long way. So I love things like microfiber cleaning cloths, which are quick drying, absorbent, and don't leave any kind of streaks. Plus, you can use them pretty much anywhere in your home. And when it comes to cleaning sprays, I love keeping things simple there too, with just a glass and mirror cleaner, a multi-purpose spray, and then maybe a bathroom one because there are definitely some tasks that need something with a little bit more strength behind it. But then one other multi-purpose product that I absolutely love is this little depilling, defuzzing tool that I found on Amazon. I'll use it on furniture, on clothing, on linens, really any kind of fabric. It works great to remove any kind of pilling or fuzz and just general debris that might fall onto it. And whether you choose to use multi-purpose supplies like these or something completely different, I think it's important that we focus on picking versatile cleaning products that are going to help us to do more with less. And then finally, number 10 is a hack that I learned the hard way, and that's just to pick furniture that isn't black or white. And at first you might think, number one, this sounds completely anti-minimalist, and number two, what the heck does that have to do with cleaning? But hear me out. Furniture that's pure black or pure white shows everything. Every speck of dust, every bit of debris, every minor mark or scuff, you're going to see it all. And so as a result, you're going to end up needing to clean that piece of furniture so much more often than if you pick something that's a little bit less high contrast. The mirror behind me, our bedside table, our coffee table in the living room, those are all pieces of furniture that I love, but they're also the ones that I need to clean the most often. Because the moment that they get a speck of dust on them, they just don't look good anymore. And that's really a big reason why a lot of our more recent furniture purchases have been something that has some type of wood grain to it. It's just easier and less work to maintain. So a bit of a random tip, but trust me, it makes a difference. All right, well, that's it. Those are the 10 minimalist cleaning hacks. They really are some of my favorite things to do to be able to keep my home looking clean and tidy while putting in as little effort as possible. Honestly, maybe I should have changed the title of this video from minimalist cleaning hacks to cleaning hacks for lazy people because that's me. But I hope you enjoyed coming along for this and that you can leave this video with some great cleaning motivation and inspiration. Before I leave you, don't forget that if you want to check out True Earth for yourself, you can get 10% off using the code Ashlyn and I will have that linked up for you in the description box below. And now I would love to know what's one cleaning hack that you use to make your life easier. Be sure to comment that down below. I would love to hear about it. And as always, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already for more simple and intentional living inspiration coming at you twice a week. That's everything I've got for you today though. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.